Well, uh, good afternoon. It's great to be back in Melbourne. And today I'm speaking to uh, Peter Robinson, actually. Robbo, what is your official role at the club? Because you've been here for a while now. Yeah, I tell you, I've been here 17 years now. I do the welfare and education, so supporting the players off-field. So in terms of the, as a young fella coming to the Melbourne Storm, Robbo, in those early days, um, initially, how did you find it? Well, I, I come from the country town called Cobar, which is a community of 5,000 people. So certainly leaving there to a, a city as big as Melbourne was out of my comfort zone. I didn't know what to expect and I certainly come here. And my initial reaction was that sense of self-belonging. I had that from straight away from senior players like yourself and Kernsey. And that's important for any player coming into any organisation, whether it's a rugby league rugby league club or whether it's any club, any, any business. You need to, have, you know, need, need to be valued and, and have that sense of, of belonging. Robbo, so as a young bloke coming from the country into the storm and you said you were made to feel welcome as part of the family, uh, your role in bringing these young kids into the club, uh, we, we talk a lot about culture and, and you know the culture that the Melbourne Storm was renowned right throughout the NRL and Australia. What do you think are the key um, elements that contribute to the culture currently at the Storm? We're really strong on, um, we've got our values and, and our beliefs and, and everyone's got their culture, but for me the culture is the byproduct of everyone's behaviour. So we're going to be doing the right things all the time. making sure, and, we, and we have that hard and direct and honest feedback to the players if they are not conforming to what we believe is, is the right behaviour they should be displaying. Um, and those are tough conversations at times and if we get a player here that don't want to conform to our values and belief, sometimes, you know, with all due respect, they select themselves out. And that's uh, quite important when you talk about the, the culture actually forces them out because they aren't willing to adjust. But just tell us a little bit about the, um, you know, over the years you've had so many players, the different ethnicities of all those players. Just give us a bit of insight to how Storms manage that. Yeah, well, T, this is our 18th season, as you know, and throughout that 18 seasons there's been 169 players that have worn the, the, the Storm jumper and out of that 169 there's been 16 different nationalities who each bring their own values, their own belief, their own culture. And, and having a, our core value as a respect, it builds a pretty good brotherhood uh, and that's something we, we're really proud of and the guys run out every week wearing that jumper, uh, which, which with a lot of purpose and a lot of meaning. It certainly does make it on one of those uh, proud members that always try and get back to the old boys uh, 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 games that we have every year and you know, no one more prouder than myself to wear that Storm jumper. So. Uh, Craig Bellamy at the moment, you know, they've created a dynasty. You've had some outstanding leaders in this club. We talk about Billy Slater. We talk about the um, Cameron, Cameron Smiths, uh, you know, the Cooper Cronks. Um, but for those other guys that come in, how do you think they see that? Oh, I think they're much the same, but th those guys wouldn't have been able to have achieved what they have if they weren't for the, for the other players around them. And they're the first to say that. They're, they're really good people, first yeah. and foremost, that are just good rugby league footballers. Um, and that's something... They're really good at when the when the kids first come in and breaking that down and just normalising a few things and um, you know Smithy's one of those guys you got to keep an eye on to uh, you, you jump around from behind a corner to try and scare someone just to make put people at ease that they are they are human they are they are normal. Well, uh, Robbo, uh, thanks for that insight, mate. I know you've got some valuable experience. You've been here 18 years. You've been a part of the Storm culture, and uh, long may that continue. And I think you know with the quality and of the young kids that are coming through the coming through the club and the uh, systems that you guys have put in place I can definitely say that the culture looks good now and into the future. Tawaranikau for Team 1 TV.